Okay, sub level one. This is uh quite dark. Very dark. Suspiciously dark. What's what is that thing? Oh it's that, okay. Hello. Honey Wisp. Take a free potion thing. Also a red track. That's cool. Thank you. Let's grab that. It's another one. It's fine, I just need to turn around. There's actually two here. Which one do I go after? Probably the one that's turned in my in the better direction. Just need to be careful when it charges. Get it! Good. Okay. This is fine. Need to repair that. So let's just get everything we can. Since we need a lot, apparently. Didn't mean to do that, but that's okay. Throw this up there. It's almost worth getting the other enemy as well. Almost. Not quite. There's some more Pikmin up here. That's good. We can get those. We can also get this. And this, Honey Wisp. Thank you for the potion. Let's pluck some reds. It is very nice that they have Pikmin quite commonly found in the caves. <laughs> cool. That's this floor done. Let's go. That was a good first floor. 20%, so there's five floors. Good to know. Very good to know. We also have a lot of uh, Sparklium. The next time we have a requirement, we're going to take it out so fast. Probably. Thank you for that. I was really concerned that I was going to mess that up. I almost kind of did. Let's get that and that. Not throwing them directly into the electricity. Hopefully. Ooh, hello. Now oh, it ate some. I should have been watching them. Is it fine? Do we really not lose any? Interesting. We also need to hit a switch to be able to leave this floor. Which is concerning. There's a platform there. There's also a candle. Just a straight up candle. That's interesting. There's a switch over here. Should we have to throw... Pick one across to... There's also something down there, though. Some little grub mites. It's fine. Let me... Come here. I haven't used him for picking up scents much, but that's okay. Just want to grab you. So I can deal with this. Carefully. Very carefully. Oh, boy! Ah, uh, forget that... Careful part. I'm really bad at this. Got a few. Okay, nice. Let's get this stuff. Although I probably need to actually make sure I know where they're going. When they're going. Because they're not going to take the thing across, are they? Oh, it just goes straight up to the base. Okay, never mind. It's fine. Don't overcomplicate things. Grab that. Let's go places. Get that candle. Also another wisp. Grab that. They're gonna make one of those a trap at some point, aren't they? Maybe. Looks like the pla platform is active now as well. 
So we can get across that. If we're careful. Maybe it was always active when I just didn't notice. Is that good enough? I hope so. Okay, we're good. That was really... It's getting really crazy with the stuff that they're doing in this game. It's a little bit fine. I don't know. I just need to not jump too crazily around the place. <laughs> I just love that the candle's lit as well. Just taking a lit candle. Imagine going to somebody's home with a bunch of Pikmin just stealing all the th things that they have. Taking all the candles and stuff. Okay, next floor. Three more to go, I believe. I wonder if it tells us how, like, many floors we go through when we've been through the cave already. Quite possibly, like, sub-level three out of something. Just so that we know. We should already know, so... But I don't know. Check out the area with the survey drone. I mean, that's a recommendation, so I probably should listen to it. Oh, also, pink candy pop bud. That is good for us. Change the walkways directions, right. Really need to take my time with this to figure out what I'm doing. Need to get up there somehow. That just changes that, doesn't it? So if we do it like that, it's going to hit that spring, which is going to send them somewhere. Probably into the wind, which is going to throw them down that way. Maybe I'm, I'm, maybe I'm just crazy and I don't know what I'm doing. Also, whoa, this is a, this is a tunnel thing. They're actually like digging through. Uh, how safe is that? You can actually see the rock falling out. Tunnel completed. That does not feel safe at all. What are you doing to me, game? What are you doing to me? I mean, it's fine. I just wouldn't have thought that that would be how physics works on a platform like this. I appreciate this. Okay, it's fine. Let's find out what happens if I throw my Pikmin to the void. They just go that way. That's really scary. <laughs> Okay, if we do it like that, they go that way, which sends them over that way, so we have to hit the switch at the same time. Also, that was a bad idea, wasn't it? It might be fine. Maybe fine. What's going on here? Are they going to push that box for me? Is that what's going on here? I mean, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it is. They have enough. I'm so glad that they had enough. I wasn't sure. Okay. That's cool. One of those. Can we push this? <laughs> well, I wasn't expecting that. Uh, here's the next thing. But we have yet to get the other thing that I really want. I really want it. Does that work for me? Get on. Ride. Uh, well, that's not quite what I was going for. I mean, that's still going to where I need... Anyway. <laughs> that's not quite what I thought was going to happen. How do I... No, not again. I want... I want them. I really want them. I must know how. How do I get up there? Can't tell them to go up there. Is this a tease? Is this a straight up tease? Or... Hang on. I'm gonna play this safe. Can I? No. Mm -hmm. 
No, come on. How then do I do that? I know I must be able to get that. That's gonna be super helpful if I can get that. If I do it like that. Oh, hang on. Is there a fan there? Maybe I can use that. But how... How do I do that? Can't jump up. Or oh, maybe I can. I just can't jump to where I think I need to jump to. I think what I actually need to do is actually go up this way onto the box. And then jump onto this. Like that. There we go. Okay. Finally. Pink Pikmin. Which are also known as... Winged Pikmin. Like the stripe. I appreciate that. They can fly! The variety of Pikmin types never ceases to amaze me. Let me look these up. The winged Pikmin, as the name suggests, winged Pikmin, have sprouted wings and can fly. Of course this means they can transport things by air, and can save time that way. Their ground attacks are lackluster. But when it comes to aerial combat, they are unmatched. Huzzah! The sky is no longer out of our reach. We'll get much more exploring and rescuing done with the help of these Pikmin. <coughs> We've only got five though. So we have to use them as best we can. But they're going to be so helpful. So helpful indeed. We have like seven types of Pikmin now. I think. Plus the... What are they called? Glow Pikmin. Plus Glow Pik... Glow Pik... Glow Pikmin. Why is it so hard to say that? Now. Of after all this time. It's fine, there's another one up there. Okay. Well, let's try and be careful about this. You've got this. A wisp. Please target. Target properly. There we go. Don't want to lose them off the edge. Wing Pikmin should be fine with those edges, though. Luckily for me. I hope that was fire, because if it was not, I'm in trouble. But I still dealt with it. Beat him up! Got him. Still breaking down that wall. Also have to break this. That works. They're just gonna get distracted, okay. Let's get some more winged Pikmin. Which probably means we can get stuff across gaps better. Probably. Once we actually get the other ones that aren't stuck on that wall. Very nice. We think we're gonna go take care of that stuff, apparently. They go straight to where they need to go. It's really nice. They can also go above water, which is good for us as well. We need to be careful here. Hello. Got it. Nice. It's giving us a lot of those. It's a little bit concerning. Also, that is water. It's not... that's bubbles. It's not what I thought it was. As long as I'm careful with my Pikmin, I should be fine. I need to pop the bubbles, though. They can't pop them themselves. If they aren't the right type. Please. Thank you. The switch up there that we want to hit, probably. Fire sprinkler? Or are we turning on the sprinkler? I think we're turning on the sprinkler here. Which is a little bit strange, but we can live with this. Probably. Let me actually set wind Pikmin onto that. 
because they can probably handle that quite well on their own. How many do we need? 20, right? Nope, just 10. <laughs> cool. I did it right. Didn't mess it up. My fence is lowered. Just gonna take my time on this. Like I usually do. Oh, so I can go right across this to the end, apparently. Which means we can't go lower now. But I'm gonna take my time to figure this out. What I should really do is actually get more Pikmin working on this. As good as Wing Pikmin are, they can. I don't know. They'll be fine. Do I need to take these out? First, I don't know. I should be fireproof, so I don't think I need to worry about that. Please don't throw them off the edge. Yeah, I don't know how to feel about this. We are immune to fire, that's good. It's fine. They can't do anything to us. Okay, valve completed. But what is this actually going to do for me? Once activated, this could be bad for me. Honestly. Because that's on now. And now it's off. Okay, cool. You did it! The fire's out. This isn't floor extinguished. I'll probably make the rest of this easier. It's fine. Just give it time. There we go. Just probably want to take this out carefully. Okay, good. Okay. Let me quickly pack Cole Pikmin. Let's get that. Whatever else we can. With the Pikmin we have. Hopefully I didn't call my Ochi. No, he didn't. Cool. Good for us. I think that's everything. Probably. But that was good use of this. Probably didn't need it though. Could have been fine with the red pigment on them up their own. But I learned something from it, so that's also good. Don't, don't underestimate the learning. You know what I mean. New treasure discovered. Getting a lot of these now. That should be all of them. Yep, let's go. Oh, maybe we'll get even more Pik Pikmin. Did we get the... Yes, we did. <laughs> Just making sure. Not crazy. Ten treasures. No rescues yet, but we're up to the last floor. Which means there's probably... A boss, right? Oh, disco time. No, don't do that. Disco time. Well. Oh yeah, disco time. Disco long legs, I guess. Also, this is interesting. But we're definitely gonna want a spicy spray for this, maybe. Have to hit his weak point, don't get crushed underneath his legs though. Oh, get out of there. Don't get discoed. No! He got discoed! 
Gah, it's confusing the Pikmin. The best option in this situation is to defeat the creature responsible. Oh! That was not good. Not good at all. My Pikmin! Oh my goodness. This thing is so rude. Oh, it's down. It's... It was stunned, and I didn't notice. No, 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 no. Oh, this thing is bad. Bad news. But it stopped me, and that's so bad. Music's cool, though. Stop it, Pikmin. What are you doing? Like, actually, what are you doing? And it's changing its attacks based on its mood. Interesting. Well, we got it. But we lost a lot of pigment to that. <laughs> oh my goodness, the air one. Hang on, is this good? Is this... It's probably not what I think it is, but it would be nice if it was. Anyway. Oh well. Considering that was my first time seeing that boss, I did alright. I'm just disappointed in myself. New treasure collected. Okay. But that thing is not good news. <laughs> At all. It crushed, it directly stepped onto Ochi with all my Pikmin. And sent a few off the edge as well. <laughs> composer Fries. Home planet, an Onohi. A dedicated composer traveling with a famous opera singer and a TV crew, hoping to find inspiration for an upcoming project. A musician. Looks like he was riding along with... Riding along on the TV cruise ship. Maybe he knows the TV reporter. Okay, we're done here. Let's leave. One of one of these one of these get dungeons is probably gonna completely wipe me. This has been a very good day, all things considered. Made a lot of progress across all these areas. And I think now that's everything up here except for the those two. No mind. But other than that, that's pretty much good. We have the blue onion now as well. Finally. <laughs> oh, there's that enemy there, which is probably gonna have give me something. Well, they're not going to the radar, so it's probably just supposed to stop me from getting up there. One of the, one of these one of these get dungeons is probably gonna completely wipe me. This has been a very good day. All things considered. Made a lot of progress across all these areas. And I think now that's everything up here except for the f those two. No mind. But other than that, that's pretty much good. We have the blue onion now as well. Finally. Oh, and there's that enemy there, which is probably gonna have give me something. Well, they're not going to the radar, so it's probably just supposed to stop me from getting up there earlier on. It's very tempted to go back to the first area and clean up there. But I don't know if I should quite yet, maybe? 
We do have Wink Pikmin though, which will also help. Maybe. I'm thinking about it. Just try and go by fast. Basically. Decent number of rescues, I think, as well, today. Got three. Spring Crop Series complete. Now, what else is new here that I haven't already said? There's a lot of stuff in caves, so... In fact, I'm pretty sure the... Most of this is just from caves. Look at that! 3,000 today! Very nice. Fish bed snack. That's great. Forty percent progress now. Lost fifty seven Pikmin. Ochi is a rare breed of dog. Do you happen to know where he was born? His ancestors have lived alongside the Shepherd family for generations. I don't know what planet they're originally from. But these dogs certainly have the perfect disposition and the right talents for life as a rescue pup. Obviously I'm talking about their carrying abil abilities, but they're also strong diggers and have noses made for scent tra tracking. Combine that with their excellent vis vision and soft fluffy coats, and you've got the perfect partner. Plus, they're so cute. So then, the short answer is no. Rescue mission day 18. That's crazy. Cleared out the last area. After many castaway requests, we're adding even more space to the rescue command post. Hopefully this will ensure the castaways stay comfortable while they're here. We have enough space now that I'm sure we can fit anyone else we rescue while we're on this planet. Everyone you've rescued pulled together to give this to you as a way of saying thank you. I believe it's more raw material. 20. Cool. I'll take that. Let's learn some more stuff. We also cleared a few quests from that. Triple threat. Bestow the power of triple punch. Say so you can even, even a tin can can shatter a, a boulder with enough blows. Interesting. What do I want though? It's a good question. Brace boots might actually be good because then we won't get knocked back or sucked in. Let me do that maybe. Break of the air condensation. Interesting. I don't know what that means. Ah, oh, let's get brace boots. Triple threat is tempting, but I'm going to leave it as it is. Should really be getting more bomb rocks. But anyway, we're also going to get more blue Pikmin now, as well. If we want to, which we definitely do. Very nice. Have to wait for it to cycle through, though. Got it, nice. Thought I was going a bit too slow. But there we go. Getting some more blues ready. Just in case we need them. Oh, it's you again. This is fascinating. I was able to confirm that the onion has fused. Please keep collecting different colors of onions. I've got a lot of... A lot more research to do. Interesting. <laughs> well, that's obviously means we're going to get some more onions, which is probably to be expected, but I wasn't entirely sure. I mean, anything's possible. Maybe it's a trick. Thank you for your help. I feel like an empty place inside me is being filled up. 
75 creatures. Ah, that was so fascinating. You must let me know if you find any more new Sly Snagglers out there. A hundred, oh my goodness. So many things. Ah, you've collected quite an impressive trove of goodies. It's humbling, really. It isn't much, but please accept this. 50 more for reaching 100 treasure treasures. 150 is next. We only have 100. We're only just. Anyone else? Seems like the message didn't pop up until I was much closer. Yeah. It's interesting. Your horticultural efforts have not gone unnoticed. The Pikmin population has bo uh, bloomed. Thanks to you. Thank you for that. There you are. The uh, aforementioned, aforementioned token. That is my thanks for all your hard work. Now we have to grow another 300 Pikmin. Crazy. My name's Quiche. I came to this planet on a field trip with my high school's planetary science club and wound, it, wound up stranded. You're the one who saved me, right? Wow, thank you. Th thank you so much. I'm Shiba. I'm from the Aleon Academy. Is that supposed to be like alien? <laughs> I'm here on an uncharted on the Uncharted Planet Tour with my Planetary Science Club. I won the tickets in a neighborhood raffle, but we were about to land and the spaceship went haywire. There was an emergency evacuation and everything. Once you make a decision, you don't hesitate. I appreciate your spirit and determination. The, three, the 300 creatures are already, wow. That's the reward for your determination. You definitely earned it. Next is a thousand. We're gonna destroy so many creatures. Oh, you're the one who had uh, the good sense to rescue me. What was your name again? Was it Blue Toad? Oh my. Where are my manners? I should introduce myself. I'm the accomplished musical genius Frice. Frase. Frice. Fri. 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 I don't know. Freeze. <laughs> Can you believe I joined the TV station on their spaceship only to end up in an awful crash? My cosmic talent was nearly lost. I believe my encounter with the ancient life on this planet was orchestrated by a muse of music. Nothing shows the heart of a creature like music. There's bound to be some musical treasures here to play on. Could you perhaps impose upon you? Could I perhaps impose upon you to gather them all? Gather them for me. Oh, I had planned to ask you to look for this tre for this treasure. How like you to have already started collecting, Blue Toad? Four musical treasures, twenty materials, eight musical treasures, another twenty. It seems I am bearing witness to a small miracle. You started before I could ask. Truly, a muse of music smiles upon me. Find all musical treasures. I mean, we're probably getting close. Hey, you're the one who saved me, yeah? Ha ha ha. I'm ever grateful for you, my friend. I came here to investigate this place from an archaeological perspective. See, I'm trying to reconstruct collapsed structures and, really, just investigate all sorts of fascinating stuff. I plan to write a paper based on what I find. Everyone in my field is gonna dig it. Haha. <laughs> Just a little archaeology joke there. So, I heard you use raw materials to make bridges and... Well, all sorts of things. Did I get that right? I did. That's great. Just what I wanted to hear. The thing is, I'd love it if you could uh, tell me when you, you build something. Would you mind? Don't get me wrong, I wouldn't ask you to do it for free. No, no, I'll give you something to show you my appreciation. Well, you built all that. Build 10 structures, receive 20 materials. Another 20, 20 structures for 20 materials. Doing a lot of progress. Hey, are you a professional builder? 
Well, you are now. Haha. -ha. Build all structures. <laughs> cool. Well, I was already already tr going to try and do that, I think, so. But I think that's everyone happy now. Probably. So, let's go ahead and go somewhere else then.